Yo, what is good YouTube? Today we are back once again with another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the team I used last week in the Nino Pokeballs Tour. Now, we are only going to go over the first three games today in this video. But basically, the team I used was built around Champau and Dragon Ball. Now, not the common uh, dragon you see run with Champau. Obviously, normally it is D-Knight, but this was a really, really fun team. Obviously, Dra Band of Dragon Ball, for those who don't know, does slap. Um, it is just, yeah, really, really strong. Uh, I believe if a, like, if a Chiyu isn't bulky... Um, the sort of rune plus one dragon dart from terra banded like does one shot so very very cool um we also have some really cool supports on this team as you can see here we have mouse hold with wide lens and friend guard uh and population bomb it's just a really good pairing with chien pao um it is a very supportive set with a little bit of attack um i'll put the post uh, the paste in the description but it it is a i believe i'm like adamant 36 attack so not much investment at all but with champ Pao, it does make up for it, and you do actually do quite a bit of chip damage um and then obviously with the mouse hold we have the annihilate a very very common core very good duo i think into the ruin mons i love it uh amugus is just a fantastic support really good at you know just redirecting to allow our dragapult just to start clicking you know banded attacks really strong and then the last one on the team is arcana now normally when you see nine on a team like this obviously you expect it just to be supportive you know maybe a little bit of attack pretty quick with willow and whatnot uh this is a very offensive arcanine i believe we are like jolly 196 um we, we hit around that 154 speed tier uh and then we are max attack flare blitz and uh e-speed obviously terra normal too just really really good pairing with chien pao it's just something that can catch you off guard um, really, really strong one. But yeah, guys, as I said, uh, we're going over my first three games from the Nino Pokeballs Tour. Um, I won't go too much into why I only played three games. Basically, I ended up dropping after my fourth game just because of the way it was kind of handled. It was, it was a bit messy. Um, I, I believe I should have been three and one, um, but I ended up getting a draw for that game and dropping because I didn't like the way it was handled. Anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, let's jump into those battles, hey? Oh, and boys, of course, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I forgot to say it in the original uh, intro. Also, um, I do plan on kind of changing this team in the near future and re-up, like, not re-uploading, uh, doing another video with it. Um, I do think Life Orb uh, Dragon Dance could be really good on this set. Um, I don't think I ever clicked U-Turn or Sucker Punch. So um, I'm thinking of doing, like, D-Darts, Phantom Force, Dragon Dance, Protect. That's something you're interested in. Obviously, stick around, hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me. But yeah, let's, get, let's jump into it okay dvp has got a pretty interesting looking hail team here so is it okay it's ice beam on the glacier not blizzard so that's good for us um i do think Polt is like really free on lead here it outspeeds everything he has we don't care about intimidate um the only thing he really has is like booster energy moon uh but we can always just terror to dodge uh he also does have the acrobatics which is kind of annoying um what do I want to lead here? I could always just go like Pow and Paul and just get like a lot of damage at turn one. I don't mind that. Um, Amogus isn't as good as Mouse here, I don't think. And nine does look pretty decent into half his team. Ape also isn't too bad. Um, I don't think this last slot matters that much um you know we can always threaten a burn onto the moon we can probably pick up a one shot anyway with yeah i think i think e-speed in the late game here looks good i think i just need to be very mindful of the indeedy um obviously you know we can break its uh its terrain with the ice spinner but it, it is obviously a potential switch in in the back which could stop my e-speeds from popping off which would be very very annoying um but we should have as long as we can either we stop the moon from getting up the um the tailwind here or we're just in a really good position where we um you know he can go for the tailwind but we put on so much pressure turn one with this lead that we can kind of just mess it up very interesting looking team though curious to see what he leads with because he also has like the av gudra which like we just don't care about with our team so what is this? Okay, so he does set the snow. So this is actually really good for us because our Chien power is going to be like super, super bulky. Um, and honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we can actually just pick up Roaring Moon with the um the double up here. What is the terror? Okay, so he is Focus Sash, no protect on the the Obama snow. Um, I honestly don't mind just making sure he can't pick us up with a crunch here. We can cast that there. Oh, if he terror ghost, it's kind of scary, but I mean, ah, uh, I wonder if I spin a. I think I spinner would be enough to pick up this, honestly, with the, the dragon dart. 
Yeah, I think I I do think this is going to be enough. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I, I think this thing, like, the, the only thing he could do here is, like, maybe look for, like, the, the Tailwind here. Okay, so he's not Terra flying here, then. Okay. Oh, actually, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I don't even know if he's speed boosted. I just assumed it because he's, oh, because he's, um, Tailwind. Oh, I mean, like, if he's not speed boosted, this is, like, fantastic, right? But, okay. Did I make the right call with the Ice Spinner here into a Terra Ghost? Okay, okay, so he, okay, so... Side note, not bad. Um, he's not speed booster, he's attack booster. So we actually might just straight up pick this up. I don't think we will, um, at least with the terror now. But like, this is still a lot of damage. Yeah, it's still that's a lot of damage. Okay, so he might get the tailwind up, but the good thing is, oh god, that's bulky. Okay, I don't think I'm killing with the ice spinner. Yeah, okay, okay. And he goes for the crunch. Okay, so he doesn't get up the tailwind. Oh my god, that's still just one shots. Of course, I reduced my own. Yeah, I'm a noob. Okay. And he's attack boosting as well, yeah. Icy wind. Okay, the icy wind is kind of annoying. We always do outspeed the Chien Pao here, which is... Sorry, uh, the, the Obama Snow, which is still fine for us. But it does put us in an awkward spot. Um, Actually, does it put us in an awkward spot? I think 9 actually is just free here, right? Because not nine nine e speed should pick up from that range like pretty comfortably I think. You yeah, know I think I think this is fine. Like I I do kind of wish obviously I doubled left uh, the right slot just in case because like obviously the ice spinner always picks that up. Um, at minus one speed though I yeah I I don't feel threatened here. Uh, is ice spinner the play for what he has in the back? Um, I think sacred sword actually might be better. Just in case he does swap. Because neither of these mods have Protect, so I wouldn't be surprised if he does swap in. But if indeed he comes in, we can always just, like, take it out next turn anyway. Damn, I'd love to see what this Roaring Moon spread is, man. Like, like I, I know Pult isn't that tanky, but still, like, that was just a <laughs> just a raw crunch, man. Wow, wait, that was insane damage. I, I still like our position, though. As I said, I think we should be able to pick up two mods here, and then we can start playing around. Okay. Oh, if this is indeedy, I'm going to feel real stupid. Great friend. Okay, it's their nine. Okay, that's fine. That's a really good swap by them. I didn't consider that there, but this should still be good damage into the nine anyway. All chip is good chip, boys. Never forget that. I'm going to get the sacred sword too. That's nice. Okay. So... Definitely preserving our nine is very crucial right now. As long as we have nine, he doesn't have a roaring moon. He is lefties too. What's this got? No willow on this. Blitz Fang, Snarl, and Protect. That's Psychic Fangs too, I should I should have added. Um, so he does that Protect. I wonder if we're going to see his last one here. May. Okay, the Gudra. Mm, we don't have our sash intact. I'm minus one speed. I don't love this position now. Hmm. Chen Pao is definitely our win condition here. The reason for this play is my mouse hold actually should be able to pick up a kill onto that Arcanine from this range, I think. And I doubt they would have, like, the only thing they could really do to that slot is, like, maybe Draco. Which is, like, kind of scary if they do Draco that, but we're about to find out. Yeah, Blitz is fine. We take that. Come on, Mouse. Just live whatever this throws at you. Just live it. Please. Acid Spray. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. So, my Mouse should actually be the fastest thing on the board right now. The question is, is... Oh... Do I risk this right now? Oh, uh, I mean... There's no way Gudra outspeeds me even at minus one, right? Oh, this is so risky. This is so risky. I may Maybe follow me was always the play there, actually. Oh, 
I mean, if he doesn't protect the nine, though, I take the nine here. Oh, okay, okay. So we get it. We do get a kill here, which is good. But obviously, uh, I think we're about to lose our mouse hold, which is not good. Damn, man. If, if I just ice spitted left there. Because now we're going to have a minus two um, homie on the board for the rest of the game. Miss, miss, miss. Damn. Mm, I think I played this one really poorly. Just miss the Draco, miss the Draco, miss the Draco. He actually missed the Draco. Oh, boys. <laughs> We're in it to win it now, lads. All right, so now we just go protect and we just got to get our nine back in. Hey, missing that Draco actually saves us because Chen Power can now come in and just threaten the um the Gudra. I mean, I don't deserve this win, but I'm putting myself in a position to get it. Blitz into my... Oh, and he protects. Okay, that's huge for us. That's huge for us. Because that should be a Draco again into Mouse Hold. Yeah, okay. And now we can just start looking to chip everything down. The snow stops. That's okay for us. We don't mind that. I think here is just a simple population bomb plus E speed into the nine. All chip is good chip. And pop bomb. This probably won't pick up without the um the sort of ruin. Three. Or, yeah, we're definitely not picking up from this range unless we get, like, two crits. But again, it, it should hopefully put it in range of the next E-speed. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. He does not pick up the mouse hold with that either, which is huge for us. And the Draco. This should live Draco, I think. Yeah, nice. I can't afford to lose both my mons right now. So I think what we do is we just go for the protect on mouse. Because like mouse is still really clutch at the end of this game. And then we just get the e-speed here. Because this puts us in a position where mouse should always still pick up the 9. And then with the, any chip, the ice spinner should hopefully pick up Gudra. Show me the Arcanine protect too. Yeah, okay. Perfect. We got the call right. Best case scenario is Draco into my um my mouse right now. Although with the with the Draco down, yeah, I was gonna say his his attack's dropping, so we definitely didn't deserve this win, but we'll take it. I mean technically it's not over yet, but it is looking good. E speed here. Friend God came in clutch this game as well, I think. Acid Spray Gudra though, what a what a threat that is. He goes for the double, doesn't get it. Unfortunate homie. Not that I think it mattered, because he was always dead next turn to either um mouse or nine, and then I just get a free attack into Gudra with Pow, and then Pow wins the game. Yeah. Pretty sure that was his these last two months, yeah. Dude, Massol does so much damage. <laughs> and Draco comes out. That should pick us up. But that shouldn't matter. Him missing that one Draco is yeah, really uh really cost him unfortunately. I mean, look, we don't know how the end game goes. Like, maybe there's a world in where I do win this, but I think if I don't get to swap Chien Pao out there, it's probably just GG. Right, say GG to him.
and the battle was cancelled. Yeah, GG to my opponent. Very, very unfortunate on that Draco miss. I, I do think they probably win that without it, but I mean, it's the game we play. I'll take it. I prayed for it, and we got it. So, yeah. All right. So, looking at their team, I'm kind of tossing and turning right now between potentially just leading Dragapult plus the um, going for like Dragapult plus Chien Pao, um, or just going something like Amoongus plus Dragapult because Dragapult can put a lot of pressure on like all of my opponent's mons. Like for example, if it's next to the the uh, the Flutterba uh, Flutter Main, um, it'll just pick up a one shot on the Chi Yu with the the Dragon Darts, um, Dazzling Gleam with Mouse Hold, I'll live. Um, I also have the option of swapping Arcanine into a board state that is like D Knight plus Chien Pao as well. Um, since this team is built around it, I don't mind just doing something like this. I don't think Ape's good here. Like I play a very slow bulky Ape and into a matchup like this where my opponent has so much pressure, I don't think it's good. Um, so the question basically comes down to Moongus versus Mouse Hold. Now, as I said, Mouse allows me to live certain hits here. Um, so I'm kind of leaning towards Mouse because of that. Um, uh, yeah, I, I think Mouse is the pick. I think Mouse is the pick. Because, as I said, Mouse puts me in a position where, like, one, I can get Friend Guard in, two. Like, Mouse does do a lot of damage. Um, my Mouse may outspeed their Chi as well. I doubt it. Like, I'm guessing this is probably just, like, timid max speed. Um, but, yeah, my Mouse could potentially outspeed, but we'll have to wait and see. Because my, I think my, so I run an Adamant Mouse that's only, okay, six. So this is actually, this is like a perfect lead for us, right? This is the lead we want to see. So he's choice specs and life orb respectively, right? So what we can look to do on a turn like this, especially with my opponent's terror types, it's actually very simple. So we can just go protect here and then we can click the Phantom Force onto this slot. What this allows us to do, it means that we will always, like, obviously, we'll always disappear here first. They can't do anything about it. Um, he's also choice specs, which means he has to swap something into this next turn, which chances are it's probably going to be the Chi, uh, the Chi and Power, which we don't mind that much. Um, but also with this too, my opponent really can't touch our, um, our left slot here either, which is really, really nice. See what they go for here. Okay, they are going to Terra. I'm guessing this is going to be Terra Fairy Gleam, which is actually fine because... I don't know how bulky you have to be to live this on the other uh, Flutter Main, but I know on Showdown a lot of Flutter Mains do die to me. Um, I might actually quickly pull up a damage calc here on the side. Flutter Main. So it's a Flutter Main spec set versus a Jolly Banded... Uh, what did we click? Phantom Force. So apparently, according to this, even if they Terra out of it, my Phantom Force should still do like 130... Oh, that's without Sword of Ruin. Yeah, I think this thing's dead. Yeah, even if they're max HP, they don't live this. Man, I had a guy yesterday who lived a Phantom Force from this. I don't know how. But that should be fine. We can now just click Sacred Sword into the Chi Yu slot. Even if he protects, it doesn't matter. We have the speed advantage here. And the Phantom Force should just pick this up. Yep. All right, lovely. This is going exactly how we wanted that, that is this is why i love this lead into this other uh, flutterfish it, it's really good you always outspeed you always pick up and then we also get the revenge kill not the revenge kill we get the secondary kill here sick okay so we have we are yet to take any damage and we've taken two kills very very good that is huge man i really need to go get my shiny dragon ball though i'm not gonna lie i, I haven't uh, sat down to grind it yet oh and i think they've just quit the game uh, I need a screenshot of that. Uh, take a screenshot. I've got the recording anyway. That game was done. Uh, yeah. Okay. They've reported as a loss. They just straight up quit the game. All right. Um, G GG, I guess. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, boys, that was a quick one. Hey, boys, sorry, um, real quick cutting in here. Um, as you can see here, or you're about to see, I put game one at the end simply because it was a Parish game. It went for like 15 minutes, I think. It, You know, algorithm and stuff. I didn't want people to see Parish Song and just leave. So I put it at the end for anyone who wants to watch it. It's at the end. It's still a good game, very close. But yeah, it, here it is. All right, boys. So game one of the Nino Poke Bros Tour. And we have got what looks to be, I believe this is just Wolf Glick's. Uh, this is Wolfie's team, right? That he used to win, not Orlando, the one before it, right? Well, no, was it Orlando? I forget. I, th I think Wolf won Orlando. I mean, I forget. Look, it, it looks very similar to that regardless. Wolfie's Parish team. So this is kind of scary. Yeah. The good news is though, we have uh, potentially four ghost types on this team. Um, obviously, like maybe three max because, you know, three of them, you know, uh, two of them have to Terra and then we have two base ghosts. But I do not mind the look of something like Dragapult 
turn one. The only issue we're going to have here is like, obviously my opponent can look to like intimidate us. So like, I kind of want to lead Annihilate, but I think just going for this dynamic duo turn one is just always the play. We can bring nine in the back, so eight in the back. I don't think nine does all that much for us. Amoongus is not bad though. I don't mind Amoongus here. Mouse could put on a bit of extra offensive pressure, which could be nice, but the ability to wall Palafin is also really good. Hmm. I need to decide. We'll go Amoongus. Yeah. I think Amoongus is good. Um, it also allows me to, like, potentially just, like, eat blasts and whatnot, like moon blasts. Because uh, my opponent does not have Dazzling Gleam. Actually, that, that's another really important thing to look at here. They protect, perish, moon blast, and shadow ball on the flutter. Terra goes flutter main as well, which is actually quite interesting. Um, but we'll definitely see how this goes. Um, my opponent is. Terra Water Goth, okay. Mm, I'm getting punished for no throat chop here though. Clear body, that's good, we love that. What we could actually do here, depending on what my opponent wants to do, we could actually just look to like just double up into the Arcanine here right now with our, our mons. Just go like Sacred Sword plus terror dragon hmm ah oh, this is like so risky like i'm pretty sure i pick up the nine anyway right Oh, dude, this is so risky, because if he brings Goth in this turn, or after I get the kill, then I'm trapped. Oh, I think I think this was a misplay. I think I should never have Terra Dragon. I just don't know what the damage calc is like without Terra Dragon here. Because he... If it is Wolf's team, it could be just very offensive, but we'll see. He didn't swap, though, which is good for me. We'll see if he... Does he run Protect on 9? He does have Protect on 9. We'll see what he clicks here. I'm guessing he goes for the Willow or the Blitz. Oh, he just raw play roughs. Okay. That's actually not bad for me. That's not bad because this should pick up now. Yeah, that's an easy pick up. Okay, that's good. That's good. So now we're in a position where we can actually just look to save our, our pult now. Mm. Actually, that's a lie. If he brings in Goth, we're, we're trapped here. Okay, it's Flutter. That's fine. That's actually, that's more than fine, right? I wonder if he's going to risk a speed tie. I feel like he just goes for like a Parish and swaps in Goth here. The thing with Polt too is if we can ever get rid of the, the Flutter, sorry, the, the Screamtail, then my Polt is the fastest thing in the game. Play rough, that's okay. Do we lose the speed tie, I guess, is the next question. Oh, it's minus two attack now. And the moon blast. Okay, that's good. That's that's not bad. We'll take that. We'll take that. Because now what we can look to do here is just start sleeping everything, right? We go into Annihilate, and then we can just look to... Is it worth... I think Protect Spore is always okay here. We protect, and we just, we just spore left, right? Ah, uh, this is Terra Grass. I think we protect right just in case. Yeah, no, I think protecting right's always the play, because he can uh, always go for, like, the, the fucking disabled cheese on me. Man, these teams are so friggin' annoying to play against. I hate them. Like, he's playing it very offensive. Like, I'm curious if that's how Wolf would also play this kind of stuff, but... Yeah, it's kind of rogue, not gonna lie. Oh, and he does go for that. Okay, so that's Terra Steel. So that's actually good, because what that means we can do now is we can Drain Punch that next turn, and then look to um, look to sleep the left slot. Okay, this is huge. Yeah, we, we win this turn here. Please tell me this is a player off into the eight. Unless he just goes for the Perish here. Disable. 
I haven't attacked it. You can't disable anything. And he sleeps. Okay, that's huge. That's huge. Because now what we can do is we can bulk up once here and then look to start drain punching our way to victory. So we bulk up. And then we just spore left here. And then we can just like drain punch. Uh, a cool thing too, if anyone who doesn't know, Sight Pollen Puff actually gives you a Rage Fist buff as well. Okay, sick. And we just got the Goth on Swift, yeah? Wait, is that his Amoongus? Oh, he actually brought in his own Amoongus. Okay, that's actually fine. We'll take that. Actually, I say we'll take that. That's probably not the best for us, is it? Hmm... How do I want to approach this end game? I really need to get rid of this um this left slot, don't I? Um ch -ch 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 -ch. And then I think we just side pole and puff here. Oh please tell me. Oh he perished songs, you're kidding me. Okay, that's actually fine though, because he can't trap us, yeah. He does get to sleep my Annihilate here, which is kind of annoying. That was a crit too. Damn. The good thing though is if he ever does swap out the um the homie here on the right, then it puts us in a really good position with our Dragapult. I think I have to make the really risky play here of going Pult and trying to Pol and Puff it. Because I think I think he always looks to protect here so he doesn't get spored on this turn. Oh, please pay off for me. Please pay off. Okay, he didn't swap. Please, please tell me let's protect. I'm almost certain you've always protect the um the scream tail there. Okay, withdraws a Moongus. That's good. Now just protect. Now just protect. Yes! Okay, sick, 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 sick. That's good, that's good. Now we can go back into Ape, and we are free just to Rage Powder here. Because that the thing is, we just want to make sure our end game consists of not having um, boost energy to deal with. Because I don't, ah, I still don't love our ways through Flutter Main. Like we have to break it sash at some point. Like pray it protects this turn and attacks with the the right slot here. Mm, actually, no, he just protected, didn't he? Yeah, hopefully he protects the the thingy. But I'm almost certain that's just going to be a player off into the Dragapult here trying to pick up. Go. Show me, like, player off plus Moonblast into that slot. Probably going to be Shadow Ball if I had to guess. Yeah, we eat that. That's delicious. And we eat the Moonblast too. That's sick. Okay. So the good thing now is... Our opponent at this stage, right? I think you're always protecting that other slot, yeah? Is it worth me getting in? Because you don't want me to sleep you right now, yeah? Is it too risky to go Pult right now? I, I think Pult's always safe, right? Because I feel like you always protect left and you just get your um get your Amoongus back in here. Yep. And then you you're always protecting here, right? Because now dude, if, if he if he moonblasts the Amoongus, then like we're in trouble. But as long as he didn't moonblast the Amoongus, I think we're okay. Show me protect, wake up, get the rage fist out. Oh, he moonblasts. You're kidding me, man. Oh, why would you moonblast that when you have... Damn, okay, okay. He's outplayed me. He's outplayed me. All right, I still don't hate our end game here. Mm, I don't love it now, though. <laughs> oh, I should have just sacked the Amoongus there. If I sack a Moongus and I had this board state, we're in like a decent position because I could always just kill right and then Ape can win the 1v1 in the end. Alright, so 
Um, I think we have to kill this thing. And then we're just side pollen puffing here. Go on, hit the moon blast. Let me wake up. Oh, he actually goes for the perish. What a dog, man. And I'm still asleep, yeah. Dude, I hate perish song, man. What a shitty strategy. Doesn't affect Annihilate, but okay. Should have slept him that turn. Yeah, he protects always. That's fine. Just wake up, Annihilate, man. And he double protects. Yeah, what a strat. Damn. I'm still sleeping. God damn. Okay. Like, he woke up so early and I sleep so long. Sucks there too. If I got that call there, maybe I could have uh, done something. Yeah, gets a double. Okay. 